The <clears throat> sacroiliac joint is formed by the articulation between the pelvis at the ilium and the spine at the sacrum. While there isn't a tremendous amount of movement available in this joint, the movement that we do receive here is a vital in movements like walking and certainly in more expressive motions like running, jumping, and squatting. Irritation here can be due to a number of different structural issues from muscular to ligamentous to cartilaginous injury. Making a determination on what the root cause of the SI joint is, is involved with a series of provocation tests that you can put your clients through that will elicit specific and non-generalized pain in the SI joint. Meaning if provocation tests are positive, it is very likely that a structural issue in the joint itself is confirmed. At this point, a referral out would be appropriate. To mention also, much of the population's SI joint pain is simply a matter of pain at the location of the joint. This could be as a result of muscular tension creating referral from muscles like glute medius or glute maximus, quadratus lumborum, or psoas major. Any of these muscles in and around the SI joint have the potential to create pain in the SI joint itself. In these cases, clients will pass their provocation tests without the positive feedback of pain. It must also be mentioned that muscles like glute max that cross the SI joint that often present with weakness and lack of stimulation tend to destabilize the relationship of the SI joint, also potentially contributing to issues here. Any and all sports that include sagittal plane motion and frontal plane motion are at risk for injury in the SI joint. Explosive sports and direct contact injuries are probably the number one reason SI joint issues occur based on structural damage.